guys, whew, wow. Today, today, guys, we'll be showing the Lithonia Lighting LHQM Exit Sign Combo. And this combo, which I really have on the shelf right now, it has the same thing, but this one is in white. The white, I have I have the black version, but not the white version. So this white version should be better. But no, the black, ver the black version should be better. Older. So the, the, the older LHQM I got was July 2022. Which is a long time ago, so now we'll be going ahead and review this. So now this exit sign combo, it has the, it has the black, the black, the black body with the red letters. And yes, we know all about exit signs because they're awesome. <laughs> and right here we have the back, we have the back for installation. And yep, oh, yep. So we have this, also that we have this canopy for it, the hole for the canopy. So... Now let's now let's get into the review. Alright, uh, now we're getting to this review. So now this exit sign has um so let's say if you have um okay, let me get this straight. So let's say if the exit sign has um no 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 so this exit sign is standard test. So right here they ha they have the test button right here in the silver LED light. So this the inside there's a red LED inside, which means it's it's standard and also that the red LED light says ready. Which means it's ready and the power will want to go out. So when you press this test button, you'll see the red light turns off and the emergency lights stay on. And or if it's a self diagnostics exit sign, you cannot hold it. Like there's a little sticker that you can be putting onto here. And if you hit the test button once, it lets you do self diagnostics on the exit signs. So that means you cannot hold the button, which is nice. But I do not have the the self diagnostics exit sign in my collection, but I only have standard exit signs that they can um press it and then and press it and set the emergency lights off. I don't have that one. So I have standard test exit signs but not self diagnostics. So this exit sign right here so, so let's get into this. So this diffuser the so this lens is made out of plastic. It's some kind of plastic like this exit sign has. So all my exit signs are plastic. And once again, I do not have the metal one in my collection. The metal exit sign. So. But, yeah. So let's let's go over the view of the basics. So the exit. So this one says exit. Like pretend this pretend this is an exit sign. And Lithonia Lighting. So Lithonia Lighting makes its own companies of exit signs. But really cool. Really cool about this one. And now. Now if I go over to the back. We have the back for installation. So now to install the unit onto the wall is you're going to have your back box, your screwdriver, and also have packages of screws in this collection. Um, let me just try to look for it just a second. Hold on. Okay, so here's three items that we need. I, I do, I, so this one, so this exit sign came with the canopy. I, I don't know where it is. So... Now over here we have, we're gonna have the back box, the screwdriver, and the package of screws. So the way to install the unit on the wall is you simply get your screwdriver and your exit sign. So you simply want to do is just go to the go to the fixture, and I'm gonna show you now. And you simply want to do is open the faceplate. Like you need to open it. If it's too hard to open, you can just do it with one hand. Oh, there you go. So right here we have one, two, so we have one, two, three, four holes here, but the, they're not holes. They're just cover holes. They're just, just for it. Now you simply want to do is open, open, open the, open the boxes of, well, open the package of screws and take out four screws here. And you simply want to do, get your back box and go up and like go to the top. And then now you're going to have your back box which is on it. So if you have, like you have to put one, two, three, four holes onto this one. So this is really going to be cool. And then you're going to put one of, oh, you're going to put one of these screws into these holes here. And after you're done installing it, you're going to have the, um, the sign ready to go. So, so yeah, I think that's this one. So, so for now we get into that, I'm going to show you the inside. 
So the inside that you're waiting for. So on the inside we have the transformer. So this transformer is connecting to this. I don't know. The transformer. Which I'm going to show you. It's connecting to the circuit board. Which means they're all the parts of the exit sign that can that can light up. So in the inside we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 LEDs. So inside there are 12 LEDs. Okay. So now... The 12 LEDs inside of this unit. Um, we have the transformer. It goes to the wires. And I have the wires like mainly connecting to the, the plug here. So right here, I'm going to show you right now. You guys never heard. This is called a plug. This plug here. Th these are the connectors for the wires. So we have the orange wire, which is connected. Which is the ground wire. And now we have the, the black wire, which is connecting to this black wire, which I have this connected. Or connected, whatever it is. And we have this little white wire goes to here. And now you're going to have your exit sign all wired up. So, which is nice. <laughs> okay, now we're going ahead to look at the... What wire is it? So, we'll be starting with that orange wire. So, this orange wire is the 277 BAC, which is the ground wire. And we have this um, black wire, which I'm going to show you. It's the 120 BAC. And the white one, I don't know what the white one is. It's just a positive, I don't know. <laughs> and now we're going to get to that. So, so this thing, if you see this little plug, like this plug right here. So this is called a plug, the emergency light plug. So this emergency light plug, which I'm going to show you right now, is it's, it's, going, it's going through the emergency light. So if it's like connected to the wires, to those wires here, it goes through the LED emergency light. That means it will work. Or let's say if you like unplug it, that means that you're not allowed to. You're, I mean, you're not allowed to um, see the see if the, so to so see this light working. So this this one works, but I have one exit sign. The white the white one, the older one, has the broken head, but this one doesn't. Really new. And now this is this is your listed once again. We, so the model number of this unit, or it's the, so this unit, I mean, yeah, so the model number LHQM LED BRMS, oh, M M C, sorry, I have different kinds of evidence in there, so, yeah, now let's get on to the arrow parts, okay, now we're going on to the arrow parts, the arrow parts that you're waiting for, so now the arrow parts, I'm, which I'm going to show you, so let's say that the X is on the right. I mean, on the yeah, on the right, whatever. You you're gonna get one hour piece, and you're gonna follow where it is. So you simply want to do to cover this um left hour piece. You simply want to do is go up to like go up to it and then snap it on like 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 right there. Like you have to push it harder, like push it harder, and then now the exit side is now pointing to the right. Or it's under the door. You can take another cap, snap it in, and then you go ahead and see how it works. Okay, so that's all done with the, the review. Now let's move on to the emergency lights, the one that you're waiting for. So the emergency lights, which I'm going to show you now, is you're going to take off this little piece, like this cover piece, whatever. So, sorry, if I like to take this off, it really hurts my fingers. <laughs> Let me just take it off. Okay, now we'll move on here. So we have this uh, cover, this cover piece, which is this one came with it. So now this um, so this light, which I'm going to show you now, is the LED emergency light. I mean emergency light. So they have one, two, three. So we'll be counting from here, from from this section here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So there are thirteen LEDs inside of this unit. I mean the emergency light. So they have thirteen LEDs inside of the combo. I mean, outside of the combo, like the emergency light. There you go. I fixed it. All right, now this is all done. We'll be we'll be moving on, and then, yeah, let's get on to the wiring and stuff. Let me take the commercial electric down, which is the white version. Let me just take it out. Oh, wait, before we get into the wiring, which I'm going to show you. So, let's say that the exit sign, so... So like in when so when you're in a building like an office building and you know there's smoke or fire, um, if there's smoke or fire, which means you cannot find the exit, or if you find the exit, you now you can see it. 
So, so let's say if you have an exit sign on the second floor, which means there, there's smoke on... So, okay, let me get this straight. So, um, so let's say that, that the exit sign is on the second floor. So on the second floor, there's smoke or fire, and which means that the emergency lights can come on, which means that there's smoke and fire that the alarm will go off. So, and personally, it could be... It could be it could be on the exit sign could be on in the power in the real general emergency so for now to get into the wiring what you silly want to do is get your screwdriver and go up to it like go up like go get your screwdriver and go up to this device like go up to the top and then you go ahead and remove it we have the inside here so to move on so to push in the wires what you simply want to do is push them up to the hole And then now your thing is in. And now you so so now let's get into it. So I have the battery connected. So and yes, this is a yellow battery that which connects to the circuit board. So you simply want to do to wire up an exit sign or the combo, the unit is you have to get your get your screwdriver and your plug. So you simply want to do is unscrew the screw to this plug. Like do it a million times. Like do a do all do just do a minute. Like do not unplug. Okay, and then yeah, now first you're gonna get your black wire, which is the I don't know the just the negative wire. The negative wire goes here. That's a really good evidence. So you're gonna squeeze it in. Hold on, let me just get this straight. Um, I have to squeeze it in just a second. Um, hold on. Okay, guys, now I have this LHUM, um, the black one on top, which is really nice. So if I like ask you, so if you if you like what if you're working with one of the one like one of the this Lithonia line of exit sign combos. And you just like your your collector. If you just wanna try to um test the test the sign itself, or test the exit sign itself, like I would recommend if you like test it and you basically it doesn't work. And I think the battery is almost dead on this. You know, you know this one works. This one really works. So to test it, which I'm going to show you, is there, there's a little test switch here. It makes it when you press this. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, something that happened. This is just a second. I think the exit sign got dropped. Okay, now we'll go ahead and test the exit sign. So you test it. You'll see this red LED once again. And this test button. So basically when you press that button, it breaks the circuit from an AC. Test any exit sign to see how it stays on in a power outage. Now let's do emergency mode by hitting this switch here. Now it sets on to emergency mode, which I really like. So these three exit signs are now emergency mode. Let me go ahead and shut the lamp off. I mean, oh, the light switch doesn't work. Turn them off. I really like it. There it is. Look at that. What's going on? We have we have the LH um um exit sign combo on emergency mode, incandescent exit sign combo, and down the LED exit sign. Let me just go ahead and shut these off now. There. So, yeah. I think that's done. Thank you guys for watching.